it going you absolute freaking legend in today's video i'm going to show you how to build a hybrid system in stormworks build and rescue so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to need a propeller because this is going to be kind of like a boat setup but you can use this on basically anything you want uh, so we're going to do that uh, we're going to go gearbox and we'll stick that on over there facing towards the engine side um we'll go select we're going to put two, two gearboxes because one's going to be reverse so that's one minus one and that's going to be like a cruiser gear so we'll go uh two and one i'm not going to connect them up to switches uh, just because there's no point in this because it's a tutorial um if you want to know exactly how gearboxes work go check out my other video on my channel and that explains how all of that works uh gearboxes and clutches anyway so we're gonna do that and then from there we're gonna need a motor so we're gonna go electric a uh, medium motor and stick that straight onto there you can put this wherever you want and you can put as many motors as you want just make sure everything balances and that is the big thing you might have to play around with it a little bit to get your charge rate right and not drain your batteries super quickly talking about batteries we're gonna go medium battery and we're gonna stick uh, just two of them over there will be fine from here on we're gonna need something to charge those batteries with so this is basically a diesel electric so we're gonna go medium engine make it red just so it looks cool and we're gonna swing that around and put that kind of over there beautiful next thing will be radiator to keep it cool you can use a pump um, if you want if it's a boat that you're building you can use pumps and whatever you want but radiators work fine as well so we're going to stick one over there uh, that's going to be uh, coolant out so that's hot side so what we need to do put that over there um, i don't actually want that on at the moment so we're going to go blue because that is going to be cold side and we need to put another 90 down there which is super awkward oh we'll get it there we go beautiful okay so that is lined up from here we basically take a pipe and just put it all the way over to there and the same thing over there beautiful okay that is coolant hooked up and uh, next thing i'm gonna put just for well just because really um stick two blocks over there and we need a tank so we'll go medium fuel tank or medium tank stick that over there we'll make that green just so we know it's fuel i always green uh use green you can use whatever whatever you want it doesn't matter it's just for you and um, this one is exhaust but i'm gonna turn that on because both of them are actually exhaust so it's got two exhaust outlets which is pretty cool and we're gonna do that go exhaust fluid exhaust there we go you can use a fluid port as well if you want if you want a bit more slick look and if it works better with your design um doesn't matter use whatever you want so we're gonna do that that is air intake and now we're gonna use a fluid port so this is what it looks like you can use that for exhaust as well as i said beautiful okay so we're gonna put that there next thing we're gonna need is a clutch so we're going to stick a, a clutch right over there on the engine. We'll make it orange just so it stands out. And from there, we are going to need a generator. A medium generator. That'll be fine. Stick that over there straight onto that. If you don't put a, genera a clutch before your generator, then the engine won't start. Because uh, there's too much load on it. Beautiful. Anyway, that is basically everything. And now for the logics. So I've got a, a dashboard pre-set up here. Um, we'll actually just connect let's see what's not connected that over there there and um that by the looks of it ah that's breaker a okay so that's all fine that is all connected up which is great uh this is from electric b so electric a on the breaker the only things that go to that is what you want to have power before it's turned on so if you want anything like a door uh, or anything like that, just connect it to electric A and that'll have power. Um, if you go from electric B, everything will only work if you actually switch it on. So we're going to give everything else um, power basically and that is done. So now we're going to go over to the data part of things. And this is where you can kind of do whatever you want. I've got um throttle like actual throttle levers in for the electric so that is over there you can just go onto your helm or your seat or whatever and use ws and connect that onto the electric motor that'll work fine as well whatever you prefer 
That is engine throttle. So we're going to put that two over there. And the reason they are named is you go to select tool, click on whatever, and you can call it whatever you want. So I call that electric throttle. That is engine throttle. That is clutch. So if you didn't know how to do that, we're going to go back to data. We're going to take the clutch um, and we're going to put it over there. And what else do we need? That is battery one. So that's going to display that battery level. Uh, that is battery two. That's going to display that battery level. You can also use microchips and just link the two batteries into a microchip with a single output and just have one dial and it'll show you however many batteries you connected up to that and the average um, charge on them. So if you want to do that, if you've got loads of batteries, it just works better. Um, engine RPS is going to be that one. So that's rotations per second. That is engine temps. So we're going to put that on engine temp. Fuel level is going to go to the fuel tank. And generator charge is going to go to that big boy over there. So that's going to tell us if it's actually charging. Um, like I said, the gearboxes I'm not going to link up if, well, at least not now. Um, but if you want to see how that's done, just check out my other video where I explain all of it. Beautiful. Okay, so I think that is all connected up. So let's spawn that and see if it actually freaking works. It looks interesting. It takes quite a bit of space to do this though. Right, so we're going to turn the breaker on, uh, give a bit of engine throttle, hit the button, and it's dead. Okay, that's not good. Right, let's see what we did wrong. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to do have something to do with electrics. Uh, no, it hasn't. Logic? Oh, yes. Okay, I didn't put the starter thing on. There we go. Okay, remember to put the, the button on the actual engine so you can start it. Beautiful. Sometimes you overlook things. It happens, even if you play this a lot. Uh, okay, let's try this again. A bit of engine throttle. There we go. It's running. Uh, fuel level is going down, so that's good. Um, engine temp is going up so that's good um engine rps is limiting now we're going to add some clutch whoa what the hell happened there um so that's the generator charge state so that is charging obviously that needs to be set to like a hundred and not on one the default is one just go in with the select tool click on it and just say a hundred um at max and there we go that's charging about 70 i don't know if that's percent or voltage or what that is but anyway it's charging the batteries are full let's add in the electric throttle and there we go so that's 97 98 which means battery level is going up even though we're on full throttle so that means our our whole system is working so this engine over here the rate it is at the moment is charging the battery so if we drop that down a little bit let's see if that's going to drop yep it's dropping so if the engine is too much on idle too low throttle then it's not going to charge the batteries i guess like 45 is okay that should charge it up beautifully anyway that is that is everything set up and good to go that is turning and like i say you can connect up the gearboxes and everything but that is basically a hybrid system. So you can use this in anything you want, really, as long as it fits. And try and play around with it for a little bit. Because sometimes you'll need um, more generator power or maybe a gearbox in front of the generator to actually keep your batteries fully charged. It is a bit of a balancing act. It really is. Um, so this one worked out very well, but it is... Uh, very basic. I'm not sure exactly how this would work in a real world boat. Um, well, not a real world boat, but a real world boat in the game. Um, this is just to show you how to set everything up. Everything else you'll kind of have to figure out yourself. Um, see if your if your batteries are ja uh, draining. If you're on full power, then you probably need another generator or a bigger engine or a gearbox or something like that and maybe even some more batteries just to give you a bit more range distance um, but anyway that's going to be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and that's going to be it for me so i will see you next time